thinking? Yeah, yeah, pretty pleased. I've three games up here and the last four games and to come over six points is pretty pleasing. Uh, really proud of the way the boys prepped this week. Um, their attitude to the game was first class and they got the rewards. It's five in a row now, right? You've won? I think so, yeah. yeah. It's pretty pretty impressive in this competition, the way, how close it is. Yeah, it is. Like I said to the boys, it's, um, you know, we've probably identified you know, the, 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 this block as a block we needed to get some results and build some momentum and we've been able to do that. But like I said in there, it's a great start, but that's all it is. It's, it's a start that to the season we wanted, but there's a long, long way to go. Where do you see the improvement in your side, JD? Oh, defensively, I think, yeah, I think. It's been a process we've been implementing for two years and it's not having a lot of changes in our squad as the boys are really trusting in it and believing in it. And um, yeah, if we keep having a defensive mindset, then we're, we're a tough team to beat. JD, we talk about Trelly and Cody most weeks, but that first try tonight, though, combined four. What do you make of that? It was pretty good to watch, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, just instinctive footy. Um, you know, it's what they bring to the table, those boys. So, yeah, I thought, you know, key players, Cam and Skip as well, key players are playing well at the moment, and that's that's what you want. It's obviously been a really long road back to tonight, to his first NRL game in almost a year. Yeah, it has. He was a bit shocked when I told him he wanted him to play this week. Um, I saw enough in him in the reserve grade game last week and I've seen enough in him in the last three or four months to know he was ready to step up and um, it gives us an opportunity to give Cam, Cam a spell either side half time, which is important to still keep that uh, ball playing uh, middle forward on the field. So, uh, like I said to him, it's a start, but um, he should be proud to be out there and, and enjoying it. Can you talk about his mental resilience? What the bloke's been through? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think he's spoken about it pretty well documented but I just probably want to give a rap to the teammate, his teammates I think they create an environment where they support each other and um, Nighty feels that um, like I said I think Cam and Cookie and guys like that have, and Jai Arrow played a big part in uh, how he's handled that last few months but yeah it's, um, it's pretty special I think you said you can improve defensively but that first half I think you only missed five tackles and defend, defend the line really well. Uh, yeah, it would seem to be able to improve on that's a big goal, right? Sort of yeah, goal, I right? think so. But um, yeah, we we probably need to dip, tighten our discipline up a little bit. Um, we put a bit a lot of pressure on our D in that first half, and but like I said, that through our process we're staying strong, and uh, if we keep doing that, like I said, we'll be, we'll be tough to beat. Um, yeah, probably um, just off the back of tonight, a few errors, especially uh, legging them out of their their end. Um, like Coach said, put a lot of pressure on our, our defence. Um, in saying that, though, we were pretty resilient and weathered the storm well. So um, I don't know. You know, I don't think we've put a perfect 80 minutes together yet. So we'll go um, do some video and we'll re rewatch the game and. Uh, see what we can improve on, but um, yeah, tonight we'll just we'll celebrate the win and we'll enjoy it and get back in work next week. Josh, you, you've never kept Melbourne to single figures in the club's history. That try with four minutes to go, did you were you aware of that record? I wasn't, no, and I was coming downstairs, so I didn't see the try. But um, I, it, from my understanding, the boys were pretty dirty that they let it in as well. So that's probably the sign that pleases me the most. But I oh, look. Keeping them with single figures or not, it's um, you know we've jumped that hurdle. Storm have had a wood on us for a number of years, and you know we went one and one last year, and we've gone one and one again this year against a quality team, a well coached footy team, and a team that was in form as well. So yeah, we're obviously in, like Cam said, in, enjoy the win. Yeah, you talk about defence and this two-year plan. What did you change? <coughs> is that an attitude thing, or how did you get it to where it is? I think it's the second best in the comp at the moment. Oh, it's just connection. It's not. You know, it's not anything that changed. You know, obviously we have our process, but it's that ability to play with the people that you're comfortable with week in, week out. And the boys have been able to string some. Our right edge and left edges have been pretty consistent to start the year, and that that trust and that combination, that connection, just grows. And um, yeah, I think that's that's probably been the, the biggest change for us is having some stability in our in our team.
Yeah, it was outstanding. Uh, you know, a lot of talk about AJ and records and all that sort of stuff, but I just wanted to see him have some fun tonight and, and play and do what Alex does. He's, he doesn't overstress. He doesn't think too much about his game. He just he plays, and, yeah, it's really good to have his family here. And It's a huge milestone, 200 games for one club. Um, you know, there's only a couple in our club that have done it in, in recent years, so it puts him in a, in a special club. But, yeah, really happy to see him get two tries and uh, lucky not to get a hat-trick at the end. Uh, Thank you.